Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Rachel Rekia and Blake Moynes have been getting single man country discussing a potential connection between them. Nonetheless, they keep up with their simply companions. They met during Rachel's run on Unhitched Mail in Heaven. Notwithstanding, neither of these two fan top choices tracked down adoration with anybody. Presently, Rachel showed up on the practically renowned digital broadcast where she discussed a likely revisitation of the ocean side. What men could compel her consider rejoining VIP? Continue to Paris to figure out more. Rachel Rekia dishes on Lone Ranger in Heaven Return. Previous single girl and lone wolf in heaven, alum Rachel Rekia is dishing on whether she would get back to the ocean side to attempt again for adoration. Right away, she said it was basically impossible that she could at any point return. She thinks neglecting to find her individual on three distinct times of the single guy establishment is a sign she ought to stop. Ashley Iaconetti told her she was on four and it wound up turning out for her. Thus Rachel said, well, I suppose one never knows she could return. Ashley inquired as to whether she returned and in the event that there was somebody, specifically, she would search for. Rachel really had a couple of names to her. The principal huge one is Jonathan Johnson, who is at present on Jen Tran's time of the unhitched female. Indeed, even as a wedded lady, Ashley noticed how hot he was. Rachel concurred and said she and a companion have likewise said that. She additionally accepts that he is presently the one with the most science on the season with Jen. In any case, on the off chance that he ought to come to heaven, Rachel let it out would be enticing to go down there to attempt to track down a flash with him. When inquired as to whether there was any other person she would possibly need to meet near the ocean, Rachel uncovered that a ward Ellis is likewise extremely hot. Also, she concedes she loved Austin Ott before he chose to self-wipe out on Jen's season. In the wake of seeing old neighborhood dates on The Single Girl, Rachel Rekia and Ashley Akinetti differ on who is more genuine about Jen Tran. Ashley has out of nowhere become Group Devon, while Rachel thinks Jonathan has the most truthfulness towards the lead. What is your take on Rachel's viewpoints on Lone Ranger in Heaven? Do you figure she will return in the future? Who do you suppose will prevail upon Jen? Rachel Rekia dishes on Bachelor in Paradise Return Former Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise alum Rachel Rekia is dishing on whether or not she would return to the beach to try once more for love. At first, she said there was no way she would ever go back. She thinks failing to find her person on three different seasons of the Bachelor franchise is a sign she should stop. Ashley Iaconetti told her she was on four and it ended up working out for her. So, Rachel said, well, I guess one never knows. She could go back. Ashley asked her if she to go back and if it was someone in particular she would be looking for. Rachel actually had a few names in her mind. The first big one is Jonathan Johnson, who is currently on Jen Tran's season of The Bachelorette. Even as a married woman, Ashley noted how hot he was. Rachel agreed and said she and a friend have also said that. She also believes that he is currently the one with the most chemistry on the season with Jen. But if he should make it to paradise, Rachel admitted it would be tempting to go down there to try and find a spark with him. When asked if there was anyone else she would potentially want to meet on the beach, Rachel revealed that Grand Ellis is also very hot. Plus she admits she liked Austin Ott before he decided to self-eliminate on Jen's season. After seeing hometown dates on The Bachelorette, Rachel Rekia and Ashley Akinetti disagree on who is more sincere about Jen Tran. Ashley has all of a sudden become Team Devon while Rachel thinks Jonathan has the most sincerity towards the lead. What do you think about Rachel's thoughts on Bachelor in Paradise? Do you think she will go back again? Who do you think will win Jen's heart?
Gentran's time of this single woman was set up to come up short all along. Fans feel like she was not offered a fair chance at adoration. Notwithstanding, it is by all accounts turning out for her. However, fans disagree. Jen began with a ton of men to browse. Be that as it may, she is currently down to the last three. Continue to Paris to figure out more. Gentran down to definite three. Gentran is down to the last three men. She just completed her old neighborhood dates. Jen met Devin, Jonathan, Marcus, and Jeremy's families. Nonetheless, her old neighborhood date with Jeremy went poorly. His family felt like he may not be prepared for marriage. She wound up sending him home at the Rose service. Fortunately, there were no bad sentiments between the two. Presently, it is Devin, Marcus, and Jonathan left. All have communicated their affections for her. Be that as it may, Marcus is by all accounts behind the others. Fans think Jen Tran's season was set up to fall flat. They are not intrigued with the folks who are left. Am I the one in particular who simply hate the men that are left? I don't see the profundity in them without question and feel like everything is superficial. I don't think Jen has done well drawing out the best or profundity in the men. I feel like her season was set up to come up short. I concur, I somewhat think she was wagering everything on Sam, however at that point he began being a dick and presently these folks left. I don't see her getting ready for marriage. I believe that she doesn't give extraordinary inquiries or responses to them to go off of in discussion and afterward it stays surface level. A few fans think it is Jen's problem for not getting out additional the men. It appears to be that fans are not dazzled with the men that are left. They likewise think she was given an exhausting gathering of men. Watchers think this season has been exhausting with regards to how tumultuous different seasons were. Notwithstanding, they trust Jen tracks down affection toward the finish of this excursion. She didn't track down it with Joey Graziette. Perhaps her individual is in the last three. What is your take on her season? Sound off in the remarks underneath. Gentran down to final three. Gentran is down to the final three men. She just finished her hometown dates. Jen met Devin, Jonathan, Marcus, and Jeremy's families. However, her hometown date with Jeremy did not go very well. His family felt as though he may not be ready for marriage. She ended up sending him home at the rose ceremony. Thankfully, there were not any hard feelings between the two. Now it is Devin, Marcus, and Jonathan left. All have expressed their feelings for her. However, Marcus seems to be behind the others. Fans think Jen Tran's season was set up to fail. They are not impressed with the guys who are left. Am I the only one who just isn't a fan of the men that are left? I don't see the depth in them very much and feel like everything is pretty surface level. I don't think Jen has done well bringing out the best or depth in the men. I feel like her season was set up to fail. I agree, I kinda think she was betting it all on Sam, but then he started being a dick and now these guys are what's left. I don't see her getting engaged. I think that she doesn't provide great questions or reactions for them to go off of in conversation and then it stays surface level. Some fans think it is Jen's fault for not bringing out more in the men. It seems that fans are not impressed with the men that are left. They also think she was given a boring group of men. Viewers think this season has been boring when it comes to how chaotic the other seasons were. Regardless, they hope Jen finds love at the end of this journey. She did not find it with Joey Graziere. Maybe her person is in the final three. What do you think about her season? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.